we are going to start in a standing position in a daily standing exercise. So you can set the feet over there as well. And to start, we're going to go with the feet a little bit wide. And all the movement is just twist one of our arms dangle and go side to side. Again, this is an easy, gentle class. We're not trying to go anywhere. We're not trying to go too fast. And for my reasons, I'm not going to work at the sweat. At least I hope I don't. <laughs> You're letting your arm tap your low back as it goes behind you, and you're letting the front arm as it goes to the opposite side tap your belly. Closer together, You're not totally close together. Just gonna spread your toes and then let them kind of grip the mat. We're gonna inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Do this at your own pace. Own breath. If you take shorter breaths, that's fine. If you take longer breaths, that's also fine. And maybe your arms can't go all the way up. Maybe you're just here. And that's okay. Be present wherever you are. Be kind to yourself. Allow yourself to be in the moment, to accept where you are at this moment, and to be proud of yourself for being in this moment. Two more. going to inhale our arms up. If you can, I want you to interlace your fingers and then push them up towards the ceiling. Now, right now my hands are kind of in front of me a little bit. I don't have my arms all the way back. Feel the tension in the sides of your legs, especially my biceps. We're just going to lean over to one side. Again, only going as far as is comfortable for you. Slowly and gently come back up to the center. Take your arms down for just a moment. And notice what you feel, take them back up, only as far as you can go, and gently go to the opposite side, again, only going as far as is comfortable for you. Just 
need to adjust your neck or whatever. You need to stretch your head a little bit. You can do so. Slowly and gently come back to center. This time release the hands all the way down. Take them back behind you. And I am going to place my hand right at the upper part of my back. I'm going to show you where they are at. You're going to kind of roll your shoulders up, back, and down. And you're going to look up. And I'm going to turn around so you can see better what is going on. And all you're going to do is just look up, pull your shoulders back, get that stretch. And then bring your head down and release your hands. Shake them out a little bit. We're going to do that again. Inhale up. Exhale. The hands come down. Place them on your low back. Shoulders back. Look up. Get this nice stretch across the front of the collarbone, the front of your shoulders. And slowly release. Shake it out. Take a moment. Kind of kick your feet out. Just a little bit. Now we're going to do tree. Now take that back. We're going to change it. We're going to inhale up. Then we're going to exhale and we're going to fold forward. Slightly bend your knees. Let yourself dangle. And it's okay if you can't reach the floor. It's not about reaching the floor. Slowly and gently come up. Take the arms up. Inhale here. Exhale. Swan dive. Forward fold. A soft bend in your knee. Slowly and gently come up, your head and neck are last. Inhale up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Slight bend in your knee. Slowly come back up again. Exhale, swan dive. Slowly come back up. Inhale. Exhale, arms come down, go back to your low back. Look up, pull the shoulders back, and release. All right, we're going to take a little bit wider stance. Pardon me for adjusting the breeches, but they are a little loose now. All right. We're going to turn one foot to point away. You're going to take your arms out. The foot that is pointing away, you're just going to slightly bend that knee and come back up. Bend the knee and come back up. Taking your time, making any adjustment you need and come back up. If it's too much to have your arms out, sweep them down, bring them to your heart. And we're just going nice and easy. We're not trying to go super far. We're just getting a nice, gentle stretch. Nice and easy. Going 
going to take the arms out. We're going to leave the knee bent. We're going to lean over that knee, drop that forearm to it, and gently take a side stretch. Slowly and gently windmill your arms and take it into reverse. Slowly straighten your leg, parallel your arms. Lean over the leg that had been bent and drop the hand either to the thigh or the front of the shin, and some of you can go all the way down there, but I'm not going there today. You go where it feels comfortable to you. Slowly and gently come back up. Bend the knee so that you can turn the foot forward, and we're going to get the call this time. So slowly bend and come back up. Make any adjustment that you need to. Nice and easy. Not trying to go all the way. Only going as far as is comfortable for you. Next time we bend it, we're going to keep it there. Go ahead and bring your hands together in front of your heart. We're going to hold it for just a moment. Go ahead and exhale your arms out. Lean towards that leg. Drop that forearm onto the top of that thigh. Just above your knee, gently take this stretch. I can feel myself shaking and wobbling. Slowly and gently bring it back up, windmill those arms and take the reverse. Slowly and gently bring the arms parallel, and bend the knee. Slowly forward fold down to the floor. I am going to grab my block and probably place it on medium setting. Take one hand, place it in the center of the block. Use the opposite arm to go up into a twist. Slowly release and switch sides. Again, time to switch. All right, come back down. Place your hands on the block. Slowly walk your feet a little closer. Slowly come up. Inhale up. Exhale, turn your feet out and come into horse. You can take it side to side. You're just lifting your toes up. Nice and easy. Back and 
then find the center. You can place your hands on your thighs if you need to, to feel a little more secure. Little baby bounces, nothing big, little bitty. And then push your legs straight. Turn one foot to be parallel with the back of the mat. Turn the other foot out. Tabletop arms. Lean over the extended leg. And take this stretch. Again, only go where it feels comfortable to you. Slowly and gently come back up. Bend that extended leg so you can turn that foot in. And go to the opposite side. I know we're not holding them for very long, but just long enough. Again, you place your hand where you feel most steady. And slowly come back up. We are going to bring our feet together. I'm going to scoot my little block out of the way. All right. Take a moment, kind of step it up. You've really been stretching those legs. We're going to do another swan dive. Our feet are a little bit closer together than they have been. Inhale up. Swan dive, forward fold. Slight bend in your knee. We're just going to hang out. If you have issues with being dizzy, don't let your head drop. Let your face be looking at the floor. If you're okay, let your head drop. We're going to take a moment and walk our hands over to the outside of one foot. So that opposite leg is going to bend a little bit more. And then we're going to walk it over to the other side. And now this leg is going to bend. Slowly walk it to center. We're going to go ahead and place our hands down. And we're going to come down on one knee, followed by the other. And we're going to find a comfortable seat. Most of you who have done my classes know what's next. We're going to get our upper body circles. Again, give yourself a moment to just sit here comfortably. We're going to close our eyes. We're going to take five silent breaths. So we have four more now. Slowly open your eyes, have a soft gaze. We're going to place our hands just on our lap. Whichever leg you have crossed in front, now I know some of you can do this. As you know, I can't. So this foot just always stays forward. We're going to lean to the side of the leg that's in front, come forward, and go to the opposite side. We're going to take our time, nice, easy movements. We're not worried about the count. But for those of you that like to, we are on the fifth. 
And we will do five more nice and easy. You can close your eyes during this time if you like. And if you lose count, that's okay too. We're just doing this to loosen up our spine and our low back. Again, you only go as far as is comfortable to you. We'll do one more for good measure. And when you come back up to the center, this leg is in front, so we're going to twist in the opposite direction. If you like, you can take your gaze over that front shoulder. Slowly and gently release. From here, we're going to take our hand down to the floor of the leg that's in front and take a gentle side stretch this way. We're going to slowly come up and go to the opposite side. Again, you're only going as far as is comfortable for you. Slowly and gently go back to the opposite side. We're going to touch down, take the stretch, push off, go to the other side. Hand touches the ground. You go as far as you can and you push off. Taking your time. We're not running a race with this. It's very gentle movement. All about being good to yourself and your body. This time we're just going to come to center. We're going to switch which leg is in front now. Make any adjustments you need to. And we're going to lean towards that leg in the front, that side, and we're going to take the circles in the opposite direction. Nice and easy, only going as far as is comfortable for you. And also remember that most of these seated poses you can do in a chair. You don't have to sit crisscross at your toss. center. We're going to twist in the opposite direction that we just did. Again, you can take your gaze over your shoulder that's in front. If you like, that gives you a little bit deeper twist. Slowly and gently release. Again, we're going to drop the hand to the leg that's in front and take our side stretch. Slowly and 
gently go to the opposite side and take this one through. Those of you that can, you can creep that arm out a little further and get a little deeper stretch. Again, never go to the point of pain. Just go to a nice stretch. Slowly come back upright, and now we're going to go into the ones where we push off. Go as far as we can. Push off. Go to the opposite side. Again, taking it only as far as you can go. Don't worry about how far I go. It's going to change on a daily basis. As will yours. It will always be different every day. Depending upon how you sleep, the stress in your life. If things are going good, things are not going so good, it'll, it'll all work out in the end. We'll do this one more time on each side. And come back up to center. Place your hands in front. Come down as far as you can. Again, you may not be this far. If you like and if you can, you can drop your forearms to the ground. Again, if you're still here, that's fine. You go where you can go. Slowly and gently come back up. You're going to switch back to the other leg in front. And we're going to do that on this side. The side's a little tighter. I have a little more air space underneath my forearms. And I'm feeling it in my hip. All right, slowly and gently come back upright. We're going to take our feet in front of us and bring them as close to our body as we possibly can. You can let your arms rest on your legs like so, palms face up. And it's okay if they don't meet the floor. They don't have to. All right, slowly scoot your feet out to make a diamond. And you're going to slowly slide your hands down. And you're going to massage your feet and stretch out your big toes and all your other toes. And pull your toes back. One by one, and I'm going to have to change that a little bit. So, if you're having issues with your ankles not being comfortable on the floor, you can always roll up a mat or a blanket. That way, your ankles are not grinding into the floor. Again, you're just giving yourself a nice foot massage. Pull your toes back, one by one, as far as they'll go. You can also try to wiggle your fingers between your toes and just go back and forth like so. And a 
and switch sides between those toes if you can. It's good to stretch out your feet. It's also a good low back stretch. You can open and close the book. Just whatever feels good and natural that you need to do. And you can just go back and forth. And kind of settle in here. Slowly and gently come up. We're going to kind of uncross our legs in a weird way. So you're going to bring one foot kind of behind you. It's going to almost be like a model pose, for lack of a better term. You want this hand to either be on the ankle, or maybe you're grabbing a hold of the little toe. The other hand, I'm gonna grab that. This is known as deer pose in yin yoga. So you're sitting up nice and tall. This gives a very different stretch. You wanna flex this foot to protect that knee. You can also flex the other foot to protect the other one if you need to. I do feel it on the inside of this knee. So if this is too much for you, you can go back to easy peasy and having your arms out at your side like so. Okay, Gently lean over so you can release this other leg. And we're going to get that on the opposite side. So it's just like doing crisscross, but you're taking the other leg to your side. Again, flex that foot. If you need to block, you can. I need it on a high level because I have short arms. Each side, you may feel it in different places. Like when I'm on this side, I don't feel it in the knee like I did over here. I should feel it more on the hip. All right, we're going to slowly come out of that. We can extend our mat up. And we are going to take one leg out. Keep the other one in, and flex the toes, and slowly slide your hand to either rest on top of this thigh. You don't have to. You don't have to grab your toe if you can't reach it. It's not. You know, it's just there. And you're gonna take that arm up and over, giving yourself that nice side stretch again. Slowly and gently come back up, and we're going to get that all on the opposite side. Hopefully without breaking anything. <laughs> Again, you're going to just slide that arm down. Again, you can flex that foot if you like.
slowly come back up. And now we're actually going to go on to the floor. And we're going to gently come this up here at the moment. Let your body be comfortable with being on the floor. Gently let your knees go side to side. And they don't have to go all the way. Just small movements. You can take your feet a little wider if you like when you do this. It gives you a little bit of a different stretch. Go ahead and walk your feet towards each other. You're going to let the insides of your feet touch, and then you're going to let your knees fall open. If you like, you can always put blocks, pillows to support your knees. Slowly and gently bring your feet back to be on the mat. We're going to cross one foot over the opposite knee. And when we do, we're going to drop that leg that it's resting on over to the side. Only going as far as is comfortable for you. Again, it doesn't matter if that foot ever touches the floor. Slowly and gently bring it back up. From here, you're going to bring the foot that has been on the floor. And you can gently rock little bitty baby, baby movements side to side. Slowly release that leg back down to the mat. Go ahead and uncross that knee. Let it go down to the mat. You're going to extend the leg that had been supporting the opposite foot and extend it all the way down to the end. And then you're going to bring that other knee back up just towards your chest. This leg that's on the ground, you're just going to let it relax fall out. You can rotate the ankle of the leg that you're holding up towards your chest.
slowly release. And we're going to get that all on the opposite side. So cross that foot over. And then you're going to let that leg fall to the opposite side. And you'll notice that one side might be a little bit looser than the other. Slowly and gently bring it back up to center. And then you're going to bring that leg up. You're going to either grab the pants or the inside or behind that thigh, whatever you can get to bring it forward. You can gently rock side to side. Also let your hands be free and you just rock yourself side to side. Slowly let that foot find the floor. Let the other foot find the floor. Extend the opposite leg up, flex it, slowly lower it down, let it release, and then bring the other knee up towards your chest. You can hold it however you like. Here, you're going to extend that leg all the way down, and you're going to bring your feet a little bit closer together. You're going to slide the one foot up as if you're in tree, and we're going to take tree on the floor. You can take your arms kind of up, just like you would in real tree or upright tree, they're all real. <laughs> Slowly and gently slide that leg back down to meet the other, and we'll take tree on the opposite side. Slide your leg down, bend one foot followed by the other, place the soles of your feet together and let your knees fall open. Notice if you feel any difference side to your feet. If you feel a little less tense, it's a good thing. 
slowly and gently. Bring your legs together. You're going to bring your arms down. We're going to scoot over to the left and roll over onto our so bellies. So you're up on your forearms. You're going to take your palms out with the width of the mat, and I may change which way I'm. But your palms are out of the corners. You're going to gently push up, bringing your forearms up off the floor. So we're not trying for a super duper back bend. We're just doing a baby bend. And then you can lower back down. This right here might be your back bend, and that's okay. Slowly and gently. See if you can push yourself up. Slowly come back down. Once more, push yourself up. Slowly come back down. Go ahead and cross your arms in front and lay your forehead on top of your forearm. Slowly bring your hands beside your tabletop. Gently look up, drop the belly down. Slowly arch the back, push with your palms. And then look up and drop your belly. And arch once again. I'm going to walk over this way. We're going to take our knees wide. You're going to sit your hips back and down and come into child. Slowly come back up. We're going to extend one foot over and slowly come up onto our knee. Again, if you need more cushion, put a blanket down. You can turn this foot out or you can have it pointing forward a little bit. And we're just going to lean over that leg. Slowly and gently come back up. Reach for the floor. Bring that leg in. Take it wide. Sink your hips back and down into child. Slowly come back up, bring the knees in towards each other, extend one foot out, slowly walk yourself up, extend the opposite arm and reach over that extended leg. Slowly and gently come back to center. This time, bring your hands down, bring the leg in, and we are going to come into easy pose. Palms 
palm space set. I'd like you to close your eyes. I'd like you to notice your breath. If you open your eyes, keep them in a soft gaze, no furrowed brows. We are going to lay down once more. Let your knees fall towards each other so your feet are going out a little bit wide. Slowly walk your feet towards each other, bring your knees towards your chest, and gently rock side to side, giving yourself that low back massage. Next, begin to rock back and forth until you can bring yourself upright. I hope that you all enjoyed this class today. I will meet you next time. Till then, peace out.